11.2b, multiply and divide rational expressions. To multiply, we divide by common factors, then multiply what's left over. This means we must first factor. Division is the same with one extra step at the start and we're going to rewrite as a multiplication problem. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So in example one here, we have a multiplication problem. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to factor this. Only one way of factoring x squared. Only one way of factoring two, and we are adding. Now let's factor the denominator. We have a common factor here, so we're going to pull out the common factor of 4, and that's going to leave us with x minus 3. Now let's factor this other numerator. Put our two boxes. Only one way of factoring x squared, and we're adding our factors of 6 that add up to be 5. We're going to have a negative 2 and a negative 3. The denominator is a difference of squares. So we're going to put our two boxes. Plus and 1, minus and the other. We're going to have x. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay, now we're looking for common factors between the top and the bottom. I have x plus 2 x minus 2, x minus 3, and it looks like we're just left with x plus 1 over 4. Now in our next problem, we are going to have to rewrite as a multiplication problem. Because of the amount of time these take, for factoring and everything. Basically, we're going to do the factoring at the same time we change this to reciprocal. But you need to be paying close attention and be really careful so that you make sure that you get everything in the right place. So our first one is the most straightforward part. We're going to ahead and put our two boxes. Okay, only one way of factoring 3x squared. Only one way of factoring 2. We're taking the difference so we're going to go put 2 here, so we get 6, and our 1, we want a positive 5, so we'll put our t positive in front of our 2 and our negative in front of our 1. Now for our denominator, only one way of factoring x squared, only one way of factoring 2, and it looks like we're going to have plus in both boxes. Now we're going to rewrite this as a multiplication problem, which means I'm going to start here with the denominator, and we're going to put that up top. Okay, only one, oops, it looks like we have a common factor. I'm going to have to pull that out. So what I do here is I pull that out up here so that I don't have to take up too much more room. Okay, so now I'm factoring that. I want to have my 2x. Don't leave that out. All right, only one way of factoring the x squared. And we have the difference. We're taking the difference, and we want 3. So we're going to have to have a 4 and a 1. And we want a negative 3, so we want it to be a negative 4 and a positive 1. So our top's factored. Now, 
the top here is going to go on the denominator. No common factors, so we can just put our two boxes. And let's see. Looks like we're going to be taking the difference, so I think we're going to use 2 and 3x. And only one way of factoring 1. We want it to be a positive 3. So we'll put our plus in front of our 1 there and put a negative in front here. So now we're looking for common factors between the top and bottom. I see that the 3x minus 1 is a common factor. x plus 2 is a common factor. x plus 1 is a common factor. And it doesn't look like I'm seeing anything else. So what that means then, that for my answer is I have 2x times x minus 4 all over 2x plus 1. And I'm done.